and they basically get away with it. You know, other people's sites. They got, you know, they got all sort of nudity, you know, cursing, foul language, playing Bob Marley music. You know, I mean, not that Bob Marley music is foul language, saying that the false flag. And I'm speaking to the, hopefully, to the Ethiopian World Net um, subscribers. We haven't posted really anything new in a couple of weeks um, because of all the false flagging, the false flags, and all this. You know, the persecution, we don't really mind that. It's just a matter of the brothers and sisters still getting the, the message and, and the new message. So some might only been tuning in here. So after a couple of weeks of not posting anything, some might be wondering, hey, what's up? And they're just waiting for a new post. So hopefully... This will be the new post as they'll get, and it's to direct their attention as well as their subscription to Rastafari Sabbatico, right? The Rastafari Sabbatico channel, as well as the pre subscription at um, Ethiopian World, uh, Ethiopian World Net 911 in case of an emergency. We haven't fully be begun to really use that channel and and I give thanks to the brothers and sisters who have been um, partaking by downloading various vids, by putting them up on other channels. Um, also those who have been um, creating their own broadcasts or their own uploads in this ministry of His Imperial Majesty. So, well, we're with December, December 1st, 2012 say 20 days, roughly 20 days, 21 days, technically speaking, or three Shabbats. After this Shabbat, the third Shabbat will be the, the Eve. Well, actually, it would be um, well, December 21st is a Sabbath. I mean, well, it's the beginning of the Sabbath. It's Friday. This is Friday. Um, that is the beginning of the Sabbath. The, the Sabbath or Saturday will be the 22nd. Now, I know for some, this might be a lot of details and everything else like that, but for the brothers and sisters, hopefully this will be just a, a reminder or a reinforcement of what they already know as true. Now, this Torah, this Torah portion, I think it's significant. Every Torah portion is significant, but there's some revelations about in this particular Torah portion that we'd like to share with you. And we're limited... And in, in, in this uh, Ethiopian world net, they, they, they flagged us, false flagged us, and, and taking us to the very, um, it's almost like the budget, you know, or the, the fiscal cliff, in a sense. They try to take us to the very cliff. You remember with Yeshua HaMoshiach when he was in the synagogue of Nazareth, and he opened the Torah scroll, and he read, and people were like, wow, so wonderful. And then he spoke some words to them, and they got offended. And they were trying to push him off the cliff. They were trying to push him to the edge. You see, like when Christ said that, you know, no man take his life from him. They can't. They, they didn't murder him. He, he, they could. They, they rejected him. His people, who he came to save and bring the message and word of salvation, reject the people who needed him most. Rejected him. In other words. It's, and, and, and therefore, it doesn't bother the I and I who minister the good news of His Gracious Majesty of Ketamawi Haile Selassie. It does not really bother us on that level. I mean, it's sad, yeah, and, and you know, it's pitiable. But if, if that's their final choice, right, and if that's also your final choice, so be it. It's like Revelation. He who want to be holy, let him be holy. He who want to be um, um, unholy, let him be unholy. He won't be clean. Let him be clean. He won't be righteous. Let him be righteous. He won't be unclean. Let him be unclean. He won't be unrighteous. Let him be unrighteous. You see what I'm saying? Because only the devil, Satan, or his minions try to take away your own free choice. God has given you free choice. The true God has given you free choice. The false gods take away your free choice. I mean, the true God says, you know, come to me. You know what I'm saying? You must come to me. If you don't, I'm going to do such and such. Nah, nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm putting up this vid basically to say um, it's time for spiritual, strategic preparation or 
spiritual, um, strategic spirituality, in other words. I don't know which nuance of title we're going to choose, um, but may the Holy Spirit help us when we finally get to upload this and, and you see this. Basically, this is saying it's time to get, well, it's past time to get prepared, but even if, if it's late in the game, as it were, it's still good to get prepared at that time. I, I made this um, analogy um, in the RSS number seven, and since it's about an hour long, since they limit us to 15, 15 minutes, well, there's no way that we're going to be able to get that up here. They're going to basically just knock it down. So if you want to see the fullness of it and hear the fullness of it, Rastafari Sabbatical, right? Rastafari Sabbatical on the YouTube. So this is an analogy right here. A lot of folks are like, okay, where should we be? Should we be in, you know, here or there? And there's a lot of, as, as the scripture says, men's hearts um, feeling them, like men fainting out of fear, fearful expectation of the things that are coming on the earth. That should not be for I and I who are repentant, who are born again in the Christ, Yeshua of His Majesty, Ketamawi Haile Selassie. That should not be for I and I. I mean, yeah, we know, you know, we're living in some, we live in interesting times. But because Yeshua HaMoshi is in our heart and our mind, I and I shall not fear, fret not thyself. However, watch and pray. In other words, be diligent. You understand? Know so we need to be strategically prepared. You understand? Not just for December 21st, 2012, but for December 2nd, December 3rd, December 4th, you know what I mean? And December 22nd, and December 23rd, and, and, and 2013. You know what I'm saying? We need to be strategically prepared always. Be always prepared. I likened it to, you know, some folks are like, okay, um, they, they're getting all the physical things together, and yet they are feigning in their hearts and their mind. A news report come up, they put out some news, oh, my God, look at, and, and it's just dropping out, boom, boom, boom. That should not be for the sons and the daughters of the true and living God and Father of the Moshiach Yeshua of our black Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes, he is black. You got to recognize it's a fact. You want to argue, go elsewhere and argue about it. You know what I'm saying? We know that we are saved by grace through faith. You understand? And it, and it's not of ourselves. At least anybody could boast. We, we're not boasting because he's black. We're just giving you the natural fact as well as the supernatural fact. But first you have to receive him in spirit. You've got to receive the spirit. That's the supernatural. That's the grace. No matter if you are black, white, Asian, or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that he is black is just a fact. We're not going to lie. It doesn't matter. That's a lie. Because if, you know, we say by grace, right? Grace and truth. The law, Torah, came through Moses, but grace and truth through our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach. So, anyway, I don't know if I've gone beyond 15 minutes. I haven't really been, um, oh, no, 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 no. We we still are within, um, I think we're still within that time. Got, got about, got about, um, maybe seven or so more minutes, right? So let me give you this analogy. This is this analogy was like, this is the last posting that we had, last video, live video that we did. Why do Antichrist hate the Holy Bible? 2 Corinthians 11 and 4. I think you need to check that this is some background right here. We're going to maybe do a couple more live vids, but we're also going to have some of the audios up here because that allows us, you know, to get into the full expansion of it as well as to show certain... Um, art and facts or, you know, certain presentations, you know, saying visually, or to ignore any presentation, have a still right there, and you have to listen, you have to hear the word. If that's too boring, we're not going to even curse one and go, tell, tell them to go to hell, because they're already living in hell, and that, that's the shame of it. They're already living in ignorance. But here's my analogy. Folks are out there trying to prepare, and we're not, we're not knocking this. You know, like even Alex Jones, he's about strategic relocation. We're saying you should check that out for yourself. Some folks say, I can't take this guy, that guy. So you need to be born again. You need to be born again because you're still judging folks by appearances. And because other people have chosen 
other things. This bothers you. Why does it bother you? You understand? Why can't you receive the truth here, there, and everywhere? Because you need to be born again. You see what I'm saying? You need to be born again. You need to repent. You need to think different. You need to have a change of mind. You need to receive that grace of God, of Jah, in Joshua, in Yeshua, in the Moshiach. So my analogy was, um, it's like, first we must appear our spirit. Right? First we must be born again. You see what I'm saying? And receive Receive Yeshua, receive the word. If you don't receive the word, you can't really prepare your spirit. You understand? In other words, your spirit is still stuck in the spirit of the false gods and the God of the dead in this world. It's a chloro. There's nothing that you or I can do to really get around that. People try. People say, oh, I'm doing a breathing exercise. Well, that's great. But who controls your breath? Who has given you the breath? Oh, evolution has given me the breath. You really think so? <laughs> anyway, so what they're doing is like, it's like imagine we have to get out of here, right? So we have a car, right? We're in the car, right? But there's no gas in the car. The battery is decharged. The tires are flat, right? Okay, let's flip it up. We have a little bit of gas in the car. We have a little bit of charge in the battery. It can still crank. The engine can still turn over, right? Um, we need more air in the tires, but it will move, right? But we don't got no map. We don't got no map. People say, oh, you got the GPS. <laughs> but you have no map. You have no road map. And see, we liken the road map to the Bible. But let's say you have a road map, right? Say you have a road map, right? But you don't know how to read the map. You don't know where you're at. And then there's a road map, but you don't know where you're going. You know what I'm saying? Do you know the way to Mount Zion? You know, do you know the way? It was, so folks are like just trying to get the car, right? And, or they're sitting in their car, but there's no gas. You remember what happened in New York with the gas crisis? And we're using a metaphor. We're using examples like spirit, soul, and body. It's similar to almost like... Um, um, the spirit, right, would really be the, the battery. Not so much the gas, but the battery. Because you need that battery power, the Holy Spirit power, to, 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 to ignite, right, to ignite that gas, right? And now both of them work together, right? But folks are looking at the car. It really doesn't matter what kind of car as long as it turns on and it moves. This is why we have to prepare our hearts and our minds. You know what I'm saying? Not just because of the 21st of December, but this gives us a good opportunity. Because who knows? Who really knows? We know for sure the Mayans, well, you know, people say, well, the Mayans, they wasn't saying that the end of the world. or what. But, but see, they don't recognize that when the Bible says the end, it's talking about the end of a particular way of doing things, the end of a world system, and we're in the Gentile world system. In other words, we're in the Anglo-European world system. This doesn't mean that black folks should say, or Asians should say, or Arabs should say, now we're going to take up, we're all so kind of tied up together. You know what I'm saying? And we're about to go through the dark rift, uh, 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 an area of density. You know, it's, we're about to have to deal with issues that we never dealt with before. So if you're thinking about money and material things as your salvation, well, you're just dead in your sins. You're just, just dead in your sins. Anyway, brothers and sisters, can't get into this too much more right here. Let's see, right there. Yeah, I think... Uh, all right, yeah, yeah, all right. So anyway, Rastafari Sabbatical, this is, for the, this is for the Ethiopian World Net mainly, but we might put this up also on the Rastafari Sabbatical. Y'all can download this if you find that it's somewhat useful. In fact, um, the daily psalms, the evening psalms, I think we really need to start really chanting, and, and not out of fear, but out of joy and giving him thanks. If you're born again, then, hey, we give thanks all the time. If you're not, then you need to consider the claims of the Christ of his majesty so, so that you will be sustained in the crisis that now is and in the crisis to come. So shalom, 
Rastafari, Ine Wendem Yadin, Ras, Iadonis Tafari. Shalom.